It's never a video without me trying to fix something I've done. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna show you how I got this look. I am trying a few different things today. I've got a couple new products, to me anyways. I also do a little experiment with my foundation, so you're gonna see that. If you're new to my channel, I usually experiment in some way on my videos. I had a comment she was really sweet and she was saying, I think you're too hard on yourself because I kind of messed up a little bit. I actually love it when things don't go smooth. I really like the challenge and trying to figure things out. When my makeup doesn't go right for me, it's actually a beautiful challenge. I love it. I love trying to figure it out. Of course, I'm not rushed and trying to go out the door. So that makes a difference. I'm just sitting here knowing that I have all the time in the world to play. But I love doing that. I love experimenting with different textures, with different techniques, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. But I always figure it out in the end. I show my mistakes and I share them all with you. I hope that you stick with me through the video. It's actually a lot of fun. I learned a lot and I hope you do too. If you watch this video and you like it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links and they do provide me with a small commission. If you use them, that helps me. And if you don't want to use them, that's okay. I'm so grateful you're here. And let's get on with the video. I have new products to try and I have been sitting on these since the Sephora sale. I just haven't had time to film. When I made my gigantic purchase, I did plan on spreading it out all throughout the year because I wanted the sale and I knew I wanted to film. So I thought I would just spread it out. So let's get going. I am my natural fair self. I'm going for a CO2 laser next week and I can't have any self tan. I don't feel my best when I'm this color and I know it's silly. I know I should just love what I'm born with. I feel like when I have a little color, the whites of my eyes pop. I look healthier, my teeth look whiter, and I just feel better. And I think that's the case with a lot of people. So I am going to try to cheat my color up a little bit without getting product on my white sweatshirt. I wanna keep it looking natural. I do have the new makeup by Mario, Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Sculpting Serum. I have had a chance to play with this already. I got it in the color light medium, which is what I would normally be if I'm self-tanned but it might be a little dark today. I'm not sure. I'm not used to seeing myself this way. I do find that I am very red. I've been using a product with hydroquinone in it. I believe it's called. It's the Illumier Lightening Lotion. It has 2% hydroquinone and that is to lighten up this area. I didn't realize though that it was gonna make me a little bit red and inflamed. So I was using it every night. Now I've given it a break because I don't want to be inflamed when I go in for my CO2 laser. I've been using the Illumier MD vitamin C and E. This is something that I've used for years. I periodically will try something else, but this is what I've purchased on the regular for, gosh, since 2018, I believe. I think my skin just can't handle all the actives. I'm finding if I'm going to use something with an active ingredient like hydroquinone or vitamin C or a retinol or retinol, I can't be real generous with it. I have to kind of skip some days so that I don't get inflamed. Other than me trying to make myself feel and look healthy, er, I don't have a plan. So I bought this during the sale. I think I talked to you guys about this a few times, maybe in a live and also in a video that I was intending on buying this. This is a House Labs foundation and it is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And I bought this because I have so many foundations that are too dark for me. I either purchased the wrong color in general, or I have my tanned color. And then when I'm like this, I can't use it because it's my tan color. I have a Makeup Forever palette. I don't know what's sticky all over this, but I did wash it. Hmm. So I'm going to put a little bit of this, that's probably too much, and a touch of the white and mix it in together. I'm just gonna go slowly with the white. Oh, I should show you actually. This is the original color, and then this is what I'm making it with the white. I might try that with a few different foundations. Okay, that's one swipe, which I feel like it's too dark. Put another dab in, mixy mix. I am always a neutral. I'm gonna use my Sigma F08. It's a small foundation brush. I wanna be very controlled with this because I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So I don't wanna cover a large area all at once. The key is to make enough product that you can cover your whole face or use it wherever you need it because trying to mix the same color again to be the exact same might be a little difficult. Have you seen that Ilios mirror around? I see Tati Westbrook use it all the time. I've seen Michelle, my friend Michelle Spieler use it. I'm tempted to get it, but do I need it? 
I don't know. I do have to bring it down a little bit on my neck because it's still red. That's frustrating when your neck is red because I don't want it to get on my clothes. But I have to do it. And you could mix it on the back of your hand. I just happen to have a palette. Do you know what works? It's a plate. It'd be a great idea to get a glass plate. A clear glass plate. Why didn't I think of that before? It's a great idea. Missing any area? Oh, it feels so light. I'm a little nervous going for this CO2 laser, to be honest. There is downtime with this. I mean, you get swollen, red, inflamed. My sister-in-law had something similar done and her eyes were so puffy. But she looks so good. She came over on the weekend. Her skin is glowing. That's what I want. I'm primarily going for these things. And if I can get that tightened up, I'll be so happy. Not that there's anything wrong with me. Okay, I just need to tidy up this redness here. I think anything against the redness in my skin can look yellow. I'm not exactly loving how this is sitting, so I'm just going to press it in with my sponge and see if I can get that to sit a little bit better. Really in here is where it's bothering me. Maybe I had too much, although I didn't feel like I had too much, but maybe I had too much. That's better. Finding a concealer that's light enough for me may be an issue as well. If you haven't seen it already, I did my mother-in-law's makeup the other day, last week actually, and I posted it a couple days ago, and I used Natasha Denona on her. I liked it so much on her that I'm hoping it looks as good on me as it did on her. So right there. Let's start there for now, actually. A little goes a long way. I'm gonna use a Sigma F72 and just tap that in. What's nice about the N4 is it's neutral, but it does have a little bit of color, just a tiny bit. I've said this in a lot of videos, but if I use something too light, it's going to go gray. It's not going to look good. In my case, I don't want to lighten and brighten too much. And just whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to pull it just under there. And a little bit right there. Yeah, that's pretty. So I avoided this area. You'll see me change up my techniques all the time. I do that because I like to play. And sometimes I feel like I need more coverage. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel like maybe the color's a little bit off. So I have to drag it down in this area just to blend it all out and make it seamless. This right here, really, I'm just touching right in here where I'm violet. And then there's nothing left on my brush, so it's really not going in this area. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks good. All right, let's test this out. So this is the Makeup by Mario Bronzing and Shaping Serum. Is this going to be too dark for me? Let's see. I haven't used the pump yet. Oh, I think this is going to be fine. I'm not going to dab it on. I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to use this brush. It's a BK Beauty 109. Look at how similar these are. They're very similar. One is a Sigma and one is a BK Beauty. I would say the BK Beauty is a little bit wider, but they're very similar. The BK Beauty feels a little bit less dense, kind of, but it could be that this has product in it. Let's hope that this is a good color. Yeah, I think that's a good color. So the reason I'm tapping it on like this is because I don't want to disturb the foundation underneath. I just feel like I have more control with the brush. Oh, that's pretty. Tanning myself across my nose. That's where it would hit, right? I don't know if I like that. I'm trying to be cool, but let's take a little bit of that off. I feel like if it's prominent here, it makes my eyes look too light. Well, I tried to be cool like that, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush here from the concealer, see if I can kind of tone that down a little bit. A little bit on my forehead. I did notice on Valerie at the end, and I fixed it, but I didn't film it. I had to go up a little bit higher in her hairline. If you haven't seen that video, it's really fun. That's my mother-in-law that I did her makeup. But Valerie was really fair. She had very light hair. So I had to be very careful. Well, I'm feeling healthier. That was the plan. I have the Jane Iredell. What are these? The Color Looks Eyeshadow Sticks. I used one on my mother-in-law and I've used one on myself as well, but let's play with this. Hmm, what mood am I in today? Oh, that's pretty. That's more of a pink. Yeah, I kind of want pink. All right, let me swatch these for you. 
on my white arm. This one is called Rosé. This is called Alabaster. They're both mattes. This one is called Gatsby. More of a goldy peach. That is a shimmer. This is called Moonstone. I believe that's the one I used on Valerie. Yeah, it has a bit of a shimmer as well. This one's called Bronze. Did I get something on me? Yeah. I like bronze, rosé. Oh, I kind of like, hmm. Again, I need you here to tell me. I think I wore this the other day. Dove gray. Let me put that down here. Oh, yeah. This one is called ivy. I should have put it where I could see it. That one has, I think, a bit of a shimmer. Does it say on it? I was picturing ivy as green, but it's not. It is a cool tone shimmer. Focus. Uh, <laughs> Americano. That's pretty. I like that warm tone, that chocolate brown. And then this one is Midnight. Ooh, I have lots of options. I feel like I just want to grab into the pile and whatever I get, go with. So if you're wondering, these are long wear. And you can see that they're. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting them off. So that's good. If you have problems with creasing, these will stay. That's why I love shadow sticks so much because they do, they stay and they're easy. They're easy to travel with. They're easy to blend. I'm really gravitating towards this rosé color. So I'm actually going to use this all over the eye and see what that looks like. And in this case, I'm not using a shadow primer because this really acts as the primer. It won't move. Anything that I put over top of this is going to last. I may not even put anything over top of it. It might be a one and done kind of situation. I love that look. It doesn't always have to be complicated. Yeah, I like this color. It's exactly what I wanted. Is that too red? I'm trying to fight the red in my skin and I just added something. It's very similar to what's popping out in my skin. I think it'll all come together when I put my black mascara on though. Just want to make sure I go high enough on the brow bone. I'm noticing in some of my videos that I wish I had gone higher. Oh, by the way, this is a BK Beauty 205. I'm using it because it's fairly stiff and it's got that angle. I don't want anything too fluffy. See how I'm tapping on that and not much is moving? Although it does move, it is flexible, but if it's too flexible, it's not going to blend as easily. Maybe I'll use that as my eyeliner. Let's see. That might make me look a bit sick. Pinks, you have to be careful. I worked on a commercial when I lived in New York, and it was for American movie classics, where they show all the westerns. Anyway, the Santa had to be drunk, and he showed me the trick of lining the inside of his eyes with red eyeliner. And he looked drunk and he was such a good actor. That's exactly what that pink does is it kind of makes you look like you're sick or drunk or tired. So we got to be careful with that. I'm going to use a bit of Americano right here. And a BK Beauty 209 just to smudge that out. No, I liked the freshness of the rose. I should have left it. Okay, now I've got to make it even. A little bit. Having a dark lash line will never hurt, but I really did like the freshness of the rose. Don't forget to clean these. I find that if they have product on it, like eyeshadow and all the goop that gets on there, it can kind of stick to your lashes when you curl them. So this is a refer lash curler, and this is a number 18R, more curved. I showed this in a video and I forgot I had it. That's bad. This is Givenchy. That's an expensive mascara to forget you have. I forget how I feel about this one. It's actually nice that it's gotten a little bit older. I do like them when they're dried out just a touch. I meant to use my lash primer, I forgot. So my mom is coming up on Saturday. We're gonna go shopping, but what I really wanna do is do her makeup. I don't know if she'll let me. She's not used to being on camera. My mother-in-law used to give presentations for her job. She's not shy, and I wouldn't say that my mom's shy, but I wouldn't say that she'd be comfortable doing it either. 
My mom also doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but I can do that. I can do her makeup and not, you know, do a lot. I never want her to feel uncomfortable. Hey, my brows turned out nice today. I need something on my lips. I don't know why I wait so long to put something on my lips. Why am I suffering? That's better. I like this eye look a lot. I am going to top up the bronzer with a powder bronzer though. Or should I try to add more? Maybe I'll see how it builds. Or you know what? Let's just go for it. One there, one there. They're, they're coming back out again. Are they? Was that as visible before that second time around? Or did I just lift up some of my foundation? Okay, and let's do a little bit there. No, I feel like that's lifting. Is that me? So if you're going to do it, pat it out. I feel like that lifted a bit. I like it, but I wouldn't apply it that way. Boo, because that's what I felt like right here. Maybe the camera is not picking up what I just saw. Maybe it's just me. I have this. This is by It Cosmetics. It's the Glow with Confidence Sun Blush. This is in the color Sunlit number 10. I dipped into it a little bit and I didn't think I was going to like it because I'm really not a peach person, but this I liked. The formula is very pretty. And yeah, they sent me a brush too. This is the Cream Blush brush number three. I'm going to go right in. Is that going to go? Yeah, why not? This is pretty. I like the dual fiber brush because it just stops it from getting too pigmented or too on there. Dual fiber brushes are great for if you're a little nervous about applying too much and you would just want a nice soft blend. Yeah, so it's a bit heavy there and that's okay. I'm just going to lighten up the pressure and spread it around. I'm taking a little bit off on a towel and then going over the edges, making sure that there's no stop and start. I find when it goes on, it's a bit more pinky peach, not so peach. Tap it out again with my foundation brush. All right, I have the Freck Beauty Makeout Club in Nude Muse Lip Liner, and this is in shade two. It's a mechanical pencil. There's no sharpening involved in this. That's pretty. It feels like it's going to stay. Do we like this color? I think I like this color. I'm kind of on that peachy, peachy pink. That's not like me. Okay, I have a little bit of creasing here. That's okay. I have creases. I'm going to touch up my concealer just a touch more right in there. I don't like how red I am in here. I shouldn't have brought my bronzer that far. I like it a little bit lighter in this area. Who do I think I am? <laughs> yeah, I feel better. Go over the edges of that blush a little bit. There, that's better. I'm going to go with this color. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, color 12. I don't know what the name of it is, but I think it will suit this. Does it even show up as a color? Yeah, it shows a little bit peachy powder. I've also had this for a long time. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. Why does they make it so difficult? Who has scissors hanging around when they're doing their makeup? I have seen good reviews about this. Look at the... That's how it came out. Okay, off you go. I just got the light instead of the pink. This says that it is... The innovative baked under eye powder that blurs, smooths, perfects while setting concealer in place. What are the ingredients? Mica infused powder creates an even finish and adds sublime radiance to the under eye area. Propriety, propri, propri, proprietary? Yes, got it. Proprietary powder blend gives a barely there feel and unique sensorial application. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's kind of messy. That actually looks really pretty. I can see the radiance, but I don't know if you can. Oh yeah, you can see the radiance. I'm gonna get a clean triangle puff 
I'll list these below too. Let me just get the creasing out. Maybe I'll try one side with the puff and one side with a brush. Just got a little bit there. I'm going to tap it on my hand actually. Well, that looks good. Do we see any radiance under my eye? I don't think so, but it doesn't look dry, so that's good. Okay, let me try a brush. I'm just going to use a fluffy BK Beauty 201. See that that's quite fluffy. Let's do that. feel like I like the puff side better. Am I more wrinkly on this side? I might be. Definitely like this side better. I'm going to go in with the puff on this side. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, I think that looks better. Yeah, I think that looks better. You tell me what you think in the comments, but I like it with a puff. I am finding that lately I'm creasing here and I'm sure it's just because my face is falling. Okay, I am going to powder this a little bit. Not with this though, because this is specifically for under eye and I don't want any glow there. I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury. Why not? I'm going to use the same powder puff. That's a lot more that comes off of that. Right in here. I am in the color number one, by the way. I can really see my pores in here. Better. A little bit there. Have I lost my blush? Is that from the powder? Let me tell you about this one. Let's see if this is supposed to last. Sometimes cream blushes don't last very well. But I did powder and I did touch up my concealer in there. I like the texture of it a lot. It has a four star rating. It has hyaluronic acid without parabens cream formula with a 92% solid serum skincare base that provides 24 hour hydration and a pop of color for a naturally sun-kissed look. I feel like I lost it a little. Really could be my fault because I touched my concealer up which got rid of some of it, but only in that area. And then I touched myself up with powder. Whoop. Oh God. See, I like it that bright though. Once I blend it all out. So I wouldn't say that this is a long wear blush. But I do find it very pretty. Now I feel like I'm really, re okay, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Now I feel like I'm really pulling some of that foundation off because I can see this now and this and this. Dang it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I can see it. Okay, I want this to look good for the day because I'm about to try on some clothes. So I am going to touch this up a little bit. I'm going to go back into my palette. I still have some left. I want those spots covered. That's the problem with cream products when you have hyperpigmentation. I'm going to try Tower 28. This is an office hours. I think I'm going to use my sponge. This is a bit heavy, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Did that lift it a bit? It did a little bit, but... This side looks so good. After my CO2, that's how this side's going to look. I like this color. I like Tower 28 a lot. I like the concealer. I like the blush. I like the mascara. I want to check something out. I find that the Charlotte Tilbury, in my head, it looks a little bit heavy. So I want to show you in the same video what the House Labs looks like. So this is the House Labs on this side. Might just be my imagination. I'm doing this for myself too. And it could be the application too, because I use the puff. So yeah, I'm just doing a little experiment. I'm just going to dust the powder off of the same brush. By the way, this is a Sigma. It's a highlighter brush. It's the F03. Watch it look the same. <laughs> Watch me like it better. No, I feel like I'm right. This is a little heavier, not in a bad way. I can see the powder more on this side. I wouldn't say that this is translucent. Well, or is it? Do you see what I'm seeing? I'm not at all saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's different. I like the house labs better. I just feel like I can see it less than I can see this, especially around my nose. I'm not sure why that is, but 
I feel like I can see the makeup more on this side. But I am studying this. Would you notice this out in public? Maybe not. I like the shine of that blush, so I just powdered over it. I'm just going to go back over that again. Yeah, I like that better. Oh my goodness, I forgot earrings. Oh, I bought earrings. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Let's make sure that I don't have makeup on my hands. I got these from Banana Republic. I'm a little worried they're going to be heavy. Oh, they are a little bit heavy. Anyone else's ear dragging down like that? Like it's lost all its elasticity? <laughs> I could just tighten that up a little bit. I don't know. I really love them, but I don't know if I can deal with the weight of that. These are the other earrings I got. They feel lighter. These make me so happy. Okay, again, it doesn't go with this. But will it go with this? I think so. This feels like another scattered video. I am so sorry. I got interrupted a few times, but I really like the look. I learned a few things. I do like the Pat McGrath powder. That looks good. Since I've been sitting here for so long, we can look at the eyeshadow. There's been no creasing. That was really easy, and I love the tone. Mascara looks good. Brows went well, but this is not about the brows. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I love getting to know you. Even if you don't have a question, just come and say hi. I hope this video helps you in some way and inspires you to try new things. Let me know what you think about all these products in the comments. I'm really interested to see if you've tried these before, how you like them. As always, all the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. I'm also going to try to remember to pin a comment at the top of the comment section so it's easier for you to find. They are affiliate links, and if you use them, it does help me out. Even if you click on them and don't buy the product, it actually helps me out. And I appreciate it if you do that for me. If not, don't worry. I'm just so happy that you're here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.